Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this receipt paper animation in Adobe After Effects. We will use two ways to create this animation. So let's start. All right, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So here I have a uh, kind of an, an expense machine, Bailey machine that at first I want to animate the card for it. And as I, you know, pull the card towards the right, we want to animate the receipt for it. Well, to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards the card and I'm going to press P to bring up position. And then I'm going to set a keyframe. Now on the, and I'm going to pull it, um, push it over here. And now on 12 frames per second, and I need to mention that my composition frame rate is set on 24 frames per second. I'm gonna move it like this. So let's watch. All right. As you see, the movement is linear. Well, to do that, to fix this problem, I'm gonna select the position. I'm gonna press F9, and then I'm gonna press Shift plus F3 to go towards the graph editor. And then I'm gonna just graph like this. Okay. That's nice. Now to animate the uh, receipt, which I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video for it. Well, there are two approaches that I'm gonna explain uh, each one of them. Well, the first one is kind of, you can make it uh, with the help of the mask and it is good when you have a design like this. And the second one, I'm gonna show you how you can design the receipt first and then animate it with using, uh, with the help of trim path. So in here, I have divided the receipt into three sections. As you see, it has a base paper, the middle paper, and the upper part. Now, to kind of animate it, we can use uh, we can use the mask to kind of animate this kind of, you know, receipt. Well, the masks are essentially a portion of a layer which they can help you to reveal or hide the layer. Now. To access the mask, all you need to do is that you need to select your layer. That's a really important step. And you can either use uh, the shape tool in Adobe After Effects or the pen tool. Well, for example, if I select the uh, you know rectangle tool and let's click on this little dot in here to only see the base paper. Now, if I start to drag my mouse button, as you see, I have a mask like this. If we have a section that says mask. And now, for example, if I go towards the mask path and I select my selection tool, as you see, if I move the mask in, for example, in here, I can hide it. I can, for example, see this part of the layer. So that's all. Well, I'm gonna delete this mask and then I'm gonna go towards my pen tool and then I'm going to draw a line like this. I'm going to adjust it. Just like so. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on mask path to set a keyframe on the shape of the mask. And then I'm going to go towards 12 frames again. I'm going to set another one. Well, as I, as you remember, at first I have animated the entire card on zero to 12 frames. So I need to pull this on here. Okay. Now what I will do is that I'm going to select the first keyframe and then I'm going to press control plus T to go towards the select, uh, to kind of select the entire path. And then I'm going to do this. Now, if you feel, think that doesn't work for you, you can also grab the points manually by holding shift and then doing this. Okay, nice. Now let's apply standard easings. Great. Now about the second one, exactly like this, we're going to select it. Let's just select the background as well. I'm going to go towards my pen tool. I'm going to draw a line like this. And then 
I'm going to go towards the mask again, mask path, and again, I'm going to set a keyframe. I'm going to press J to go towards the previous keyframe. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on this point. As you see, when I click on it, the point, the rectangle kind of filled now with the green color. Like this. So, okay, we need, because the shape is a small, I'm going to reduce the spacing to like, you know, six frame. Okay. Now let's watch. Let's select all of the keyframes and let's press U twice to close those keyframes. Okay, as you see, it has a small delay, which is when it's in here, we need to push those middle keyframe to here. To make the offset work. Nice. And now we need to animate the upper part. As you see, the process is fairly simple. I'm going to go towards the upper, um, upper, part, upper paper layer, and then I'm going to solo it. Make sure that you have selected the mask, otherwise it will create a shape layer for you. So I will select the layer. Let's move it a bit above. And let's create a mask like this. And now again on the mask section, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to select the mask path. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go um, 10 frames forward. And then I'm going to set another keyframe. And now what I will do is that I'm just going to select those keyframes. And let's apply standard easings. Okay, now let's remove these three keyframes by pressing U. As you see, it has a small delay in here, which I'm gonna fix it. All right, so as you see, it's the first method that we made. Now let's move towards the second one. So now, to create the second method, it's fairly simple again. All you need to do is that go towards your pen tool and turn off the fill, which is right now, as you see, the fill option is off. And set the stroke to five or 10 pixel. Now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a, a point in here. I'm gonna drag the handles to create one like this and try to make the arcs as perfect as perfectly as possible and then move it in here and create another one like this and fix it like this now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to walk towards the arcs to make sure that i have an a uh, you know some semi perfect semicircle and same as this one all right this seems nice now let's select it and move it towards middle and now to create that receipt uh, you all you need to do is that I'm gonna uh, call it the base let's go towards the tiny triangle in here and in add menu let's add the repeater now, as you see, I have a number of copies in here and let's, for convenient, let's set it, for example, to 50. Now the repeat here, as you see, it just repeats the elements of the, of your design. Now, if I go towards the transform panel and now, as you see, the position right now is set on 100. If I make it on, for example, an, a small number, for example, two or three, as you see, now I have the base of my receipt. And if I increase the copies, you will get something like this. Now let's just rotate it a bit to, you know, 
make it a bit better. So as I have mentioned earlier, you need to make those arcs perfect if you want to have a, you know, great receive design. And then now all you need to do is that you need to go towards the trim path and you can animate these with the help of a trim path, like this. So let's watch. As you see, we have made an, another receive technique with the help of the repeater and trim path. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to my channel. That will be helping me out a lot for my future videos. Thank you for watching this video. I see you in the next one. Have fun.